Hi guys, welcome to AC Technical. In this video, I am going to show you how to fix media test failure, check cable or no bootable device, insert boot disk and press any key. Media test failure, check cable is an error message that typically appears during the boot process of a computer or laptop when the system is unable to detect a network connection or a connected storage device such as hard drive or solid state drive. This error message indicates that the system is unable to establish a connection with the media or storage device that required for booting up the operating system. No bootable device, insert boot disk and press any key typically appears when a computer or laptop is unable to locate the bootable device or operating system on any of the connected storage device. Also this message appears when there is no operating system installed on the computer or when the boot sequence is not configured correctly. However, here are some certain fixes for media test failure, check cable or no bootable device insert boot disk and press any key. So let's get started. Reboot the computer. Sometimes a simple reboot can easily resolve the issue. So try to restart your computer by pressing Ctrl Alt and Delete key combination and see if the error message goes away. Reset the BIOS settings. Reset the BIOS settings to their default value can easily resolve the issue. But please note, resetting the BIOS will erase any custom settings you may have configured and you may need to reconfigure after the reset. So, it is highly recommended that take a picture of your custom BIOS configuration for the backup and then perform the reset procedure. First, restart your computer by pressing Ctrl Alt and Delete key combination. After that, access the computer's BIOS by pressing a key during startup. This key can vary depending on your computer manufacturer. It's usually F2, F10 or Delete. Here's a list of BIOS keys for various manufacturers. Look for the option or check your BIOS item specific information or search online if you are unsure of which key to press. In my case, the key is F9. Once you found, press that key to reset the BIOS settings to their default value. Once done, go to exit tab or press F10 to save configuration changes and exit from the BIOS. After that, hopefully your problem will be solved. Alright, as you can see, there is no more error message about media test failure check cable or no bootable device. Check the boot order in BIOS because this can happen if the boot order in BIOS is incorrect. So make sure that the boot order is set correctly with the primary storage device where the operating system is installed set as the first boot device. First restart your computer by pressing Ctrl Alt and Delete key combination and press the BIOS key to access the computer BIOS. Navigate to the boot or boot order menu. The boot order is the sequence of devices that a computer will try to boot from when it starts up. The correct boot order depends on the type of firmware that your computer uses, either BIOS or UEFI. In the BIOS setup, use the arrow keys to select the device you want to boot from. And in the UEFI setup, use the arrow keys to select the OS boot manager you want to boot from, such as Windows boot manager and move it to the top of the list. Once done, save and exit from the UEFI setup. After that, hopefully your problem will be solved.
Well, as you can see, Windows was successfully booted without any interruption. If it's caused by PXC boot or network boot, then disabling pre-execution environment which is known as PXC boot and disable network boot can easily resolve the problem. The steps to disable PXC boot and network boot in BIOS may vary depending on the manufacturer and model of your computer. Restart your computer and enter the PC's BIOS setup by pressing the BIOS key. Look for a menu called Main or Boot or Boot option in BIOS setup. In the Main or Boot or Boot option menu, find the option for Network Boot, Boot from LAN or Wake on LAN or something similar. Disable the PXC Boot or Network Boot option by selecting it and pressing the corresponding key to change the settings. Save your changes and exit from the BIOS setup. Restart your computer and verify that PXC boot and network boot are now disabled. Alright, as you can see, PXC boot and network boot are now disabled successfully. And after that, hopefully your problem will be solved. However, after disabling PXC boot and network boot, if your computer is displaying the error message, no bootable device inside boot disk, it may indicate a problem with your hard disk. Check for loose components in the computer, such as loose RAM modules, or hard disk, or expansion cards. Open your computer case and check the SATA or ID cable connecting the hard disk to the motherboard. Make sure the cable are firmly attached to both the hard disk and the motherboard. If not solved, try another hard drive to see if the issue is with the hard drive itself. This can help you determine whether the issue is with your hard drive or something other components in the computer. After that, check once. Hopefully your problem will be solved. If not solved, use the hard disk diagnostic tool. Many hard disk manufacturers provide free diagnostic tool that can help you diagnose and fix hard disk problems. You can download this tool from the manufacturer website and run them to check for errors. If none of these steps fix the problem, it's possible that your hard disk has failed and needs to be replaced. So, I hope this guide was helpful for you. If you have any question or any advanced guide, then please let us know. Please like, comment and share. We need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.